Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Mueller. I am currently student teaching. I'm teaching 7th grade AB at Reagan Intermediate School in Clovis Unified. I absolutely love it. My kids are incredible. I have some RSP kids that I'm learning to work with, which is a great experience for me. Uh, my subject matter is English. I actually got my degree in print journalism, which isn't quite English, but I got an associate's degree in English, and that's what I am pursuing. I would like to teach it. I really like junior high, um, but I could also teach it at the high school level, and I would be just as content there. Eventually, I would hope to actually move up to get my master's degree and my doctorate degree and teach at a university level, maybe in journalism, maybe in creative writing. I like both, and I feel like I'm good at both, but we all know we have our own opinions of our, our personal works. Um, why I chose to become a teacher is a little complicated and convoluted. Since I was little, I've had struggles learning. I actually had dysgraphia, which is fine motor skill issues, so I had a lot of trouble learning how to write and write well. I had a lot of chicken scratch handwriting moments, and it made me really frustrated when I was young. And a lot of what I saw was kids who have that sort of disability that's not really a learning disability, but it's a frustration, a struggle, they weren't treated the same. And our handwriting was marked down. And what we were able to do was different from everyone else because we had struggles with our fine motor skills. And I don't think that's fair. I don't think any kid should feel like because they can't write well, their handwriting isn't good, that they're not as good as anybody else or they're not as smart. I had to learn how to slow down and take a step back and write well and write nicely and I did calligraphy to learn that and I would hope that I could help some other kid who has that same sort of struggle where they're not marked as RSP with a 504 and an IEP and teachers that are really paying attention to them, where they just have basic struggles that everybody has. Learn how to accomplish that, how to overcome that. I had a really great helper, a tutor of sorts who helped me learn how to write well, how to control my fine motor skills. And my mom was a teacher and there's all sorts of, I want to make the world a better place, but really I just want to be able to find that one kid that needs that little bit of encouragement. Maybe the kid who was like me who hated to write because I felt like my handwriting wasn't good enough. And once I unlocked that potential and learned how to write well, how my handwriting could improve, I learned that I love to write and I pursued a degree in English and a minor in creative writing and I got a degree in print journalism and I write novels and I want to teach English and maybe I could help just one kid, just one, learn that it's okay to have a struggle that doesn't make you disabled enough to have an IEP or a 504. It doesn't label you with an IEP or a 504 as an RSP kid and all the acronyms that go with that. But you have a struggle and that's okay to struggle. And I want to find that kid who I can help and say, you know what, I struggled too and we can get through it and the education system isn't built for us. And that's okay. We can still get through the education system together and figure out what that means and what that will look like for us and you can still be successful and it doesn't matter what the education system says. You can be successful outside of a traditional setting. So I think for me that's my why. It's convoluted and there's a lot of different reasons I could put in there but that's my why because I struggled too and I never did well at English and I never did well in writing until I had that one, one teacher that looked at me and said you can do it and showed me that I could. And I want to be that one teacher to someone else.